Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be discussing the completing the square method of uh, quadratic equations. All right, so this one is straightforward. It's not simple. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so by clicking on the subscription button and also clicking on the notification button. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on any of these lines on the screen. Okay, so let's quickly uh, um, begin to solve the equations all right so completing the square method is one of the simplest methods to solve quadratic equations okay so the first thing that you need to know is um, that um, the general form of the quadratic equation is ax squared minus 10 uh, rather ax squared plus b x then plus c is equal to uh, zero so this is the completing i mean this is the general form of the uh, this is the general form of the equation of quadratics okay the quadratic equation the general form of quadratic equations rather okay so let us start completing the square of this so whenever i complete the square of this you, the result is always x is equal to um, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac then everything divided by 2a so when you complete the square of this this is always the result okay so let us quickly do this so the first thing that you do is you divide everything by a so when you divide by a divide by a divide by a the solution will be x squared plus b over a x then plus c over a is equal to zero so you're going to take this c over a to the other side of the equal sign meaning you're going to remain with x squared plus b over a x then is equal to negative c over a and then when you do this you can find now we can complete the square of these two terms here by finding half of this uh, expression here so half of b over a is simply just uh, uh, so we have x squared plus b over 2a that's half of that then we're going to square this we subtract the same b over 2a squared so this minus this it will give us a zero so this is just the same as adding nothing to this expression okay so this is what you're going to have then uh, from here now we can complete the square so i'm going to say x plus b over 2a squared then this negative um, b over 2a squared i'll take it to the other side of the equal sign so that it becomes and then once i take it to the other side of the equal sign i'm going to um rather once i'm ju once i just introduce this expression here i have to get rid of this so i'm going to remain with this and that so i'll take this to the other side of the equal sign meaning i'm going to have b uh, over 2a then squared and then we have negative c over a then from there we can say x plus b over 2a squared is equal to okay is equal to this one will be b squared over 4a squared then minus c over a so you can find the common denominator this side to simplify the expression so we still have x plus b over 2a then we have squared there then this is equal to then we find the common denominator which is 4a squared so 4a squared into 4a squared uh, is 1 1 times b squared we have b squared and then we have minus there a into 4a squared we are going to get um 4a 4a times c we're getting 4ac so we square root both sides to get rid of this squared so we're going to have x plus so when you square root both sides this side we have plus or minus the square root of that so we have x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus the square root of uh, b squared minus 4ac then everything over 4a squared so this can be simplified further we take this b 
over 2a to the other side of the equal sign. So we'll just remain with x this side, then we have negative b over 2a, then we say plus or minus, then on top there we'll have the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Then here down we can have the square, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of a squared is simply just a. So this can be finally be written as, um, so when the denominator is the same, when you are dealing with fractions, means that you can add the numerators. So since the denominators are the same, we can put the common denominator there, which is 2a. So we just add the numerator, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So this is how you derive the quadratic formula, which is this one here. I told you to say, if you complete the square of this expression here, the result is the quadratic formula. Let us quickly uh, now begin to solve these questions using the same procedure that I've taken here to derive this quadratic formula. So I'm going to solve two questions and then the remaining two questions, we're going to do them as an exercise. Okay. So the first question is x squared uh, minus 10 x plus 24 is equal to 0. So this is also a simple question. So the first thing that we have to do in this question is um, to divide everything by a, like I did in the previous uh, derivation. So we're going to de de divide everything by a. So our a in this case is 1. When you divide the whole equation by a, we'll still get the same equation. So meaning there's no need of us doing that. Okay, so the second step is to find half of this expression. Or if you want, you can take 24 to the other side of the equal sign in advance. But in this case, uh, okay, let me do that first in advance. So we have negative 10x is equal to 24. This will be negative 24 in this case. So, um, so what we're going to do is this. So I'm going to find half of this expression, half of this expression rather. So we have x squared and then half of 10 is, half of negative 10 is negative 5. So I'm going to say plus, let me do this. So I'm going to say plus, half of negative 10 is negative 5. Then I'm going to square this. Then I'll say minus uh, the same negative 5 squared. Then we say minus 10x is equal to negative 24. So when you complete the square of these two parts, you get the sign that is inside there. So we have negative 5 there, and then we say squared. And then uh, we have a minus. This part is going to give us 25. This minus is this one. Negative 5 squared gives us 25. So once you introduce this part, you always omit that. So we, we are going to remain with uh, negative 24 this side. So I'm just going to take negative 25 to the other side of the equal sign so that I remain with negative 5. Then squared is equal to negative 24 plus 25. So say uh, 5 minus, I mean x minus 5 uh, squared is equal to negative 24 plus 25. The answer is 1. So if square root both sides, we're going to have x minus 5, uh, the square root, x minus 5 squared and then 1. So we say the square root of this and the square root of that. We say x minus 5 is equal to the square root of 1 is simply just 1. I mean, it's going to be plus or minus rather. It's going to be plus or minus 1. So we take um, 5 to the other side of the equal sign. So when you take 5 to the other side of the equal sign, remain with x is equal to uh, positive 5 and plus or minus 1. So meaning the two values of x that we're going to have is x is equal to 5 plus 1 and x is equal to 5 minus 1. So the first value will be x is equal to 6. Second value is x is equal to um, 4. So we have solved the quadratic equation using completing the square method. It's very simple. Let's quickly move on to the next question. Okay. So the next question is, so I'm going to pick this one at least which has a coefficient. So we have 
2x uh, squared plus 12x minus 5 is equal to 0. So the first thing we divide everything by a. So we're going to divide everything by 2 by 2 so that we remain with x squared plus uh, 6x minus 5 over 2 is equal to 0. So the, ne the next step we're going to take this 5 over 2 to the other side of the equal sign so that we have fa I mean x squared plus 6x is equal to 5 over 2. So what we're going to do next is to find half of uh, 6. So we're going to say x squared half of 6 is simply just positive uh, 3 then we square that and then we say minus 3 squared um, minus 3 squared and then uh, we say plus 6x is equal to 5 over 2 so we complete the square here meaning we're going to have x plus 3 then squared then this one will give us uh, 9 3 squared gives us 9 so once you do this you get rid of that then we say this is equal to 5 over 2. So when you take 9 to the other side of the equal sign, you're going to have x plus 3, and then you have squared is equal to 5 over 2 plus 9. So when you add the 2 there, uh, this side you still have x plus 3, squared is equal to, then when you add the 2 there, this will be 18 plus 5, that will give us 23 over 2. Yeah, 23 over 2 so to find to find the expression or to find the solution to this expression we're going to square both sides so when you square both sides yeah so when you square both sides we're going to have x plus 3 squared is equal to 23 over 2 uh, so when you do the square root there, we have plus or minus this side. So we have x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus uh, the square root of 23 over 2. So the value of x becomes, uh, when you take this 3 to the other side of the equal sign, negative 3 plus or minus the root of 23 over 2. So x is now equal to negative 3 plus or minus the root of 23 over 2. So the two values of x that we're supposed to find are negative 3, uh, negative 3 plus the root of 23 over 2 and x is equal to negative 3 minus the root of 23 over 2. These are the two values of x you're supposed to find. Alright, so uh, you can also solve the other remaining equations. See if you have understood. If you are not sure uh, about your solution, feel free to contact me. Uh, feel free to send over the solution to any of these lines on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My name is Hamted. Shalom, shalom. See you in the next tutorial video.